What is up everyone? Welcome back. Two months ago I made a video about World of Warcraft ray tracing. Since then Shadowlands has been released and there have been some promising performance updates, which significantly increase performance and stability. Now one month ago AMD announced they're going to partner up with World of Warcraft. And the videos they've shown were very, very promising. Now in this video, I'm gonna go over ray tracing in World of Warcraft and ambient occlusion, what we currently have and what we can expect in the future. What we currently have is ray trace shadows and they have a lot of potential, but they're not that impressive yet. Now take a look at the face of my character, take a look at this shadow and take a look at the wall. You can skip back and forth if you wish. Let's turn it on. Here we have ray trace shadows on. And as you can see, the face of my character, you can see the shadows because of the hair. The shadows of the building up above soften and the wall is a little softer as well, depending on the distance. And the next scene I'm about to show you guys is from the AMD video. And it shows some seriously awesome ray tracing, what we currently do not have and what I hope we can expect in the future. Now it starts with a clip of off and here it's turned on. And holy cow, this looks freaking amazing, guys. This is, this is what I was waiting for. And it definitely shows us that World of Warcraft is not done yet with ray tracing. Now, in order to achieve this goal, they will actually have to add more dynamic light sources. The only sources we currently have are the sun and the moon, and braziers, torches, furnaces, whatever you name it. They all do not work. And there is still a lot to do to achieve this goal. So we have arrived at ambient occlusion. And just let me show you what ambient occlusion does. It's not that big and I've already been a bastard and I've already enabled it and you did not see a thing. Now let's recap that and let me show you what happened. So here we have both ambient occlusion types, switching between them a few times and you decide which one suits you best. It doesn't matter that much at all. Now to round up the video, this last clip is from the AMD video. It shows ambient occlusion on and off. And I can clearly tell that the right side has ray trace shadows on and the left side does not. All right, that was it guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you did not do it yet, then please consider subscribing. Thank you all so much. Peace guys. Subscribe. Yo guys, you wanna see what's inside the box? Ha 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 ha.